Good afternoon, Mr. Jones. My name is Esther. I am a student nurse, and I'll be working with you today. Before we begin, can I check your wristband, please? Thank you. Can you tell me your name and date of birth? Casey Jones, June 11, 1992. Thank you. And are you allergic to anything, including a latex or chlorhexidine? No allergies? Perfect. So today I'll be changing your central venous axis device dressing, or CVAD dressing for short. Your CVAD is the tubing that is on your left chest, um, and I will. Um, there's a dressing that is on top of that. This dressing needs to be changed every seven days. It's been seven days since your last change, so I'll be changing it for you today. It's a fairly simple procedure. I'll gather my supplies. I'll remove the old dressing. I will also look at your skin and the tubing um, and look at how they're doing. And then I will put a new dressing on for you. Um, do you have any questions for me or concerns? No? And are you experiencing any pain? No pain? All right. So before I begin, I will perform 20 seconds of hand hygiene. And uh, when was um, the last time you did this uh, dressing? Um, how did it feel? Did you feel any discomfort or pain? How did it go? It went well? Good. Okay, I cleaned my hands for 20 seconds. I will. Um, Put on my first pair of gloves. And I'm going to clean my work site with a wipe for 30 seconds. Making sure to get the sides. All right, I've cleaned the table for 30 seconds. I'm gonna remove my old gloves, perform hand hygiene, and I'm gonna let this table dry for two minutes. While this table is drying for two minutes, Mr. Jones, I will ask that um, you uh, turn your head to the side during this procedure. Um, this is uh, to prevent any risk of contamination, um, and this is also why both you and I are both wearing masks, um, is to make sure to clean, um, Reduce the site, uh, risk of any contamination in the CVAD site. So can I assist you in turning your head? Thank you. All right, now that your head is turned to the side, Mr. Jung, I will perform hand hygiene. And I'm gonna prepare my supplies. I have my spare pair of uh, sterile gloves. I have my bio patch. And I have my dressing kit. I'm going to open the tray. I'm going to put the mask provided to the side since both my patient and I are wearing masks. I'm going to remove the sterile gloves and I'm going to put the bio patch inside. Making sure that the blue side is up. Alright, now that I have my supplies, I am ready to begin. I'll perform hand hygiene. All right, Mr. Jones, I ask that you keep your head turned to the side. I am now going to remove your current dressing. Are you feeling any pain or discomfort? No? Okay. So looking at your old dressing here, I can see that your dressing is a clear dressing. Um, it looks dry and intact. Um, I see that the tubing is in the left subclavical vein, um, and it's 25 centimeters, which was documented previously by the nurse. And now I will hold the tubing with one hand as I begin to remove the dressing.
I'm going to begin at the edges and work my way around. Are you feeling any pain or discomfort? No? Good. All right, I have removed the old dressing, removed my gloves, and performed hand hygiene. Looking at the skin here, I can tell, that I can see that um, the skin does not look red or inflamed. I don't see any other sign of infection. Um, the tubing it doesn't have any cracks or leaks. This, uh, it's 25 centimeters long, which what was documented previously, is located in the left subclavical vein. And uh, Mr. Jones, are you feeling any pain? No pain? Excellent. So now that I've done hand hygiene, I will prepare my sterile gloves. Making sure to not touch beyond the one inch border. Okay, I have my sterile gloves on. I'm going to dispose of the packaging. Move my kit. Alright, I'm now going to clean the site. I'm going to crack the chlorhexidine and clean the site for 30 seconds. All right, I've cleaned the skin for 30 seconds. I'm gonna now clean the tubing. All right, I've cleaned the tubing for 30 sec and the site for 30 seconds. I will let this dry for 30 seconds. Now that this has been dry after 30 seconds, I'm gonna pre uh, prepare my bio patch. Holding in a taco. I have my tegaderm here. All right, I'm going to remove the labeling for later. I'm going to use my tape to secure the tubing. I'm going to label with my initials the date which is October 2nd, and the time, which is currently 1500. I'm going to place the labeling in a place that's visible. I'm going to dispose of my supplies. 
remove my gloves, and perform hand hygiene. All right, Mr. Jones, I am all done. Your new dressing is um, placed. Um, I checked that your skin did not look red or inflamed. I didn't see any signs of infection. Your tubing was 25 centimeters, as previously noted by the nurse. Um, it's, in, it's located in the left subclavicle vein. And um, Mr. Jones, are you experiencing any pain? No pain? Good, I'll make a note of that in the assessments. And I also noticed that your tubing did not ha have any leaks or cracks. Could I assist you in turning your head now that we're all done? Thank you. All right, Mr. Jones, we are all done. Uh, I'm gonna make a note of um, your skin and that it's all good. There's no signs of redness or infl uh, inflammation or infection. Your dressing is now in place and it's clean and intact and you are not experiencing any pain. Is there anything else I can do for you? No? All right, thank you for your time. I'll see you later.